Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minds 365. In today's lesson, I'm going to be providing an introduction to Microsoft Defender for Identity, Microsoft's cloud-based security solution that leverages your on-prem Active Directory signals to identify, detect, and investigate advanced threats, compromise identities, and malicious insider actions directed at your organization. Before I get into the actual solution, I think it's important to understand why you need end-to-end -end protection while you're running a hybrid environment. Here's an example of a common hybrid architecture today where you're syncing user identities from on-premise environment into Azure AD using Azure AD Connect. The following diagram depicts a common attack that may occur which originates in the cloud. A user's account is compromised because of the lack of MFA. The attacker may have gotten this from a phishing campaign, a brute force attack, or some other attack vector. The attacker could then pivot though into an on-premise environment with those same credentials and begin to move laterally throughout the organization. Ultimately, they're trying to garner a deeper foothold and elevate their privileges for exfiltrating data. Because of these attack vectors, users' identities are more important than ever to secure as another layer of protection within your organization. I think it's important to show where Defender for Identity fits within the Microsoft 365 Defender offerings. You can see here that you get protection from things like persistence, privilege escalation, reconnaissance, and lateral movement as part of this attack chain. With Microsoft 365 Defender for Identity, you can install sensors in your on-premise resources like your domain controller that can send signals back up into the Microsoft 365 Defender portal for suspicious or malicious events. Microsoft Defender for Identity can then work uniquely with Cloud App Security and Azure AD Identity Protection to provide complete protection across on-premise and cloud-based environments. These signals correlate across the other Defender incidents to provide an automated investigation and response. I think that it's important to note that some of these other features for identity will be managed within the Cloud App Security Portal at the time of this recording. Defender for Identity features can be summarized within four major categories, protect, detect, investigate, and respond. Starting with prevent, proactive identity security posture assessments can be viewed within the Cloud App Security Portal here under the Investigate tab and then Identity Security Posture. This provides you recommendations for potential vulnerabilities within your organization. Here we can click into one of the recommendations like clear text password exposure, and we can see that the entities related to this vulnerability are Stephanie, PC, and Stephanie. So it's basically saying that this account, as in this user and this device, are related to this clear text exposure that you see here. Detection capabilities span across lateral movement, reconnaissance, credential access, and persistence. This card that you're seeing here shows some of the common attacks that it's preventing or helping you detect within your organization. Alerts are generated in the Cloud App Security Center as well as the Microsoft 365 Defender Portal that may get rolled up into a larger incident. Alerts can be filtered to see unique app activity like your on-premise environment here. You can see all related events for that particular category. Users are given an investigation priority to help you prioritize the events that are coming in. Clicking into a user here can give you a view of all the applications they access, not just Microsoft's cloud. Clicking into the user page here, we can pull up a page that shows the investigation priority score and a timeline of how that has changed over time. This point-based system adds to the user investigation score when there's malicious or suspicious events going on. From this page, you can move right into response capabilities by performing certain actions against the user like confirming they are compromised or requiring them to sign in again. Policies and alerts can be created to create automated responses when users meet certain risk levels. To summarize here, Microsoft Defender for Identity is a powerful solution to help you provide protection to user identities in on-premise environments. I hope this lesson provided a good overview of some of the main capabilities with Defender for Identity. Stay tuned for my next lesson where I'll show you how to install the Defender for Identity Sensor in your on-premise Active Directory environment. Thanks guys, have a great day.